In this video, we're going to talk about the turtle story. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So you may have heard of the turtle traders. If not, then let me explain exactly what it was all about. It was an experiment and it was basically Richard Dennis who had made a lot of money himself trading the commodity markets, some in cotton, some in wheat, that kind of stuff. And he had a bit of a debate with his longtime friend, Bill Eckhart. And he's basically said, this is in 1983, he basically said, hey, do you know what? I think good traders can be taught to trade well, or traders can be taught to trade as good traders. And Bill Eckhart said, no, no, you know what? I think it's gut instinct. So what Richard Dennis did is he put an ad in the New York Times, and I think he put it in the Washington Post as well. And it basically said, traders wanted. He had a multiple of applicants and ultimately he whittled it down and he took 21 men and two women. He took them to Chicago and he trained them for two weeks, just two weeks, basically training them on the rules of his system. Now, the rules of his system were, we'll move on to this in a second, what happened. The rules of his system were very much a trend following system. So he would trade commodities, he would trade currencies, he would trade bonds. And the rules were that he would buy range breakouts. So whenever any of these markets would break out of a range, they would buy. They would add to the position as it was trending. So it was really a trend following system that worked very, very well in trending markets. He would pyramid in aggressively into these positions up to kind of 25, 26% of available capital into one trade. And that's because he was adding, 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 adding. And of course, you know, when you're full boat and, and, and you're in a trend, you're going to make an awful lot of money. But he also would manage the risk by saying, listen, cut the position size if we're in a range bound environment. Uh, you know, or if it comes back, you know, take the loss. So range bound, this, this strategy would get killed. It was a very simple breakout strategy, but the key to the, the kind of wealth building, if you like, was this pyramiding into the trade. Let's move on and see what happens. So two weeks training, these 21 men, two women uh, were trained for two weeks on these rules of the strategy. Initially, they were given small accounts. They're given 12 lots to trade. You know, whether that's accurate or not, I don't know. There's some conflicting information there, but basically they were given small accounts to trade, I guess, from Richard Dennis's perspective, to make sure they could follow the rules that they were given in that two week training. Some of them were then kicked out at that point, but then some of them went through and were given one million accounts. Again, conflicting information here. Some people say given two and a half million. The point is they were given pretty decent size accounts for 1983 to 1984. I think actually now we would move to 1984 because it was around Christmas time that he'd started doing this. So they were given pretty sizable accounts and were told to use the same rules, same structure, same money management, exactly the same thing, but just with these big accounts. Four years later, they had combined made 100 to 175 million. Again, conflicting reports. Who knows? The point is decent returns over a four year period using this strategy. So the question I guess everyone's saying is, does the strategy work today? It's been back tested and it doesn't. It's actually had losing periods. And I don't know if why, right at this second, whether it's, it's, um, whether it's a strategy that's feasible or not. I would guess in a trending environment, you can find something that's been trending, chugging for a long time. This is going to work very, very well. It's one of those strategies that's going to absolutely kill it. And you can see how you get from 1 million to 100 million in four years. If you're in a four year trend and you catch a trend, even let's say you're trading 10 or 15 markets and some of them are range bound, some of them are in trend. If they're range bound, you're not going to be in it. You might get caught with a few fake outs because you're buying it, but you're not going to be in full boat. But the trending ones, after kind of a year worth of trend, you're going to be in a full position. You're pyramided right in, full boat into that position. And if that trend continues, you're going to be making incrementally a large amount of profit on that trade. If it whips back on you, you're going to lose all of that profit and it's going to be vicious for you. So You've really got to use it in the right conditions and the conditions happen to be right for him at this time. Hats off to the guy. He was using a strategy that fitted with the current market conditions at the time. It worked for him. He scaled up. He got aggressive with it. And pyramiding to trades is a very, very good way of building that, uh, you know, really incrementally increasing that income on the trade due to that you know, trending environment. And if the environment continues, you are just hitting, you're in a real sweet spot. Of course, if it's whipping around back and forth 
that's a surefire way to the poor house because you're adding, 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 it whips back on you. You end up losing all because you're, all you're doing is bringing your average size up as you're going and, and increasing the size. So you've got to be careful with that. But you know, hats off to the guy, great experiment, very, very famous. He showed that actually, you know what, you can teach people to follow rules. And as long as they follow rules, uh, you know, they can make money. There was a rumor a lot of them were hanging around, kind of messing around, playing table tennis and pool a lot of the time because they're waiting for these breakouts to occur. So they weren't very active, which as you'd expect for a swing trading trend following system, you're not going to be, you're rather going to be in the trade, adding to the trade or out of the trade. And it's not going to happen every day. So they're doing a lot of hanging around, but there's a little lesson there in patience of waiting for the trade. Now, obviously now in this day and age, you could probably automate this. And this is why people back test it and say it doesn't, doesn't work in these conditions. But you could automate this and say, hey, buy a 40 day breakout. I think it was kind of the rules he was using, add, 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 and, and kind of have a computer do it for you. But back in 1983, I guess it probably not even, uh, it wasn't really feasible to do that. But interesting uh, interesting nevertheless, I think that you can learn a kind of lot from it. And the big takeaway from me is that, well, for me, should I say, is that it's about bolting the right trading strategy into the current market conditions. It, no matter where you are, 1983, 2003, 2017, 2050, you know, whatever it is, it's using the right strategy for the current market conditions of the market you're trading. The market is range bound. You either don't use your trend following strategy or use a mean reversion strategy. The market is trending or that it's about to go into a big trend and it's used to these big swings, multiple year moves, bear markets, bull markets. You need to be using a trend following system, whether it's the turtles thing or not. Same with day trading, guys. If you're day trading, you're using the right strategy for the day that's presented to you. Yes, you don't know what it's going to be, but you've got an idea based on the history of what's happened the last 10 days, the last year, whatever. So that's the big takeaway for me is using the right strategy for the right market conditions. Anyway, guys, that's the turtle story. Anything else that you know about it, you want to add into the comments section below, please do so. I'm sure there's lots more information out there about it that's quite, will be quite interesting to know. So stick it in the comment section below. Thumbs up, likes kind of stuff. See you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.